and welcome to Life in Envelopes. I am Jennifer Bleacher. In today's plan with me, we are using my life planner and the vertical layout. This is from Erin Condren. And we are also using a sticker kit from my Etsy shop, Life in Envelopes. This sticker kit is called April Showers. I grabbed the headers, the thick washi, the thin washi, the set of full boxes and functional boxes and medium washi. So those are all universal stickers. Um, I do have a link to my Etsy shop in the description box below, as well as a discount code for all of my YouTube viewers. I also have an affiliate link to Erin Condren down below. If you're interested in getting an Erin Condren um, life planner or products, I would appreciate it very much if you use my affiliate link. It helps me to bring videos like this to you guys today. Okay, friends, before we jump into the planning part of this video, I did want to give a quick shout out to Rose Forever New York. They are the sponsor of today's video. They sent me a new box in honor of Mother's Day. So let's open it up and see what I got. I'm so excited. I've been working with Rose Forever for a little while now. I love this company and I'm always so excited when they want to do another collaboration with me. I love the way it comes packaged, like just so much detail, so much respect for their product. You know you're getting something that is high quality. So I almost went with the cream colored velvet box this time. I, I always get the black box, but at the last minute I'm like, no, I still need the black velvet box. So let's open it up and see the new color. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna smell it. Oh. They smell absolutely amazing. Isn't this beautiful? So right now, Rose Forever, they are taking pre-orders for Mother's Day. If you want to get your Mother's Day gift ordered, they are running a sale and I also have a uh, link to them and a discount code down in the description box below. So make sure you check that with that link and use that discount code. This particular product that I got today is the Essential Black Velvet Box. I got the nine, which means there's nine roses. And the, the color that I picked is pearl pink. They use natural oils to preserve these roses and these roses last for about a year. They're handcrafted, allergen-free, and vegan. They make a beautiful gift to anybody, but this will be an especially beautiful gift for Mother's Day. I lose my breath whenever I see you. You stole my heart, what is it that you do? So I did want to say a quick thank you to everyone who has sent us your very kind messages this week about Morky Mork. We, if you didn't hear, he did pass away on Monday and it was, it was absolutely devastating. I'll admit I was a bit of a wreck for a few days, but I'm okay now. Um, I'm surprisingly okay. I didn't think I would be okay again for a very long time. I think part of the reason why I'm okay is because I wasn't there when he passed. You know, when Mindy passed, I was there with her and like that's what I remember. Like most is those last couple seconds with her. And I'm so glad I didn't do that with Mork this time. And um, so in my mind, he's just on vacation. <laughs> I told David, I feel like Marky Mark's just on vacation and I'm ready for him to come home. So, <laughs> so David texted me and he said that Mark, he, David was at work and I told him this and he texted me back and he said that Mark had texted him um, and he texted him instead of me because he had, he could only remember David's phone number. <laughs> so he said Mark had texted him to let him know that he was in the Bahamas and that he was having a great time and that he actually met somebody. So he wasn't planning on coming back home again. So Morky Mork has decided to stay in the Bahamas. He said he's loving the beach 
and he's wondering why we never took him to the beach. <laughs> so that made me feel a lot better. But one thing that was really helpful in all the messages that we received is just the reminder that this is part of life and a lot of people have gone through this. So a lot of people understand, understand, you know, that kind of grief. The first day I was kind of walking around like a zombie thinking like, how is the whole world continuing to go on when my whole world is falling apart? You know, like it's one thing that I really appreciate about my viewers is they constantly like remind me that like it's going to be okay and that that people understand and people have been there and people have made it through hard times. And I'm not just talking about what happened with working work, but also with like just like my budgeting journey. And it's nice, it's a nice reminder that we're all going through this, you know, these tough financial times together right now. And we're gonna get it through. We're gonna get through this time. This is just a blip. This is just a blip. And things are going to get better one day. Okay, so I'm going to try some new things this week. I've been playing with some stickers. So let's start with this sidebar. I actually have designed a few stickers to go in the sidebar. I have designed three options. This is just called the weekly checklist. And I want to use this to track my steps during the week. And then I made a meal plan sticker. And I've planned out our lunches and our dinners for the week. And then I have a habit tracker. And I don't know if I'll have room for all of these habit trackers. But these are just the things I want to focus on this week. I want to focus on making my bed first thing in the morning, um, taking a shower. So <laughs> it sounds really funny, but back when I was a teacher, I got up and took a shower and then started my day. But since I started working from home, like slowly over time, I start working and then I'm like, oh yeah, I need to go take a shower. So I want to get back into the routine of making my bed and then making and then taking a shower right away first thing in the morning. Um, and then every day I want to either walk or bike, so we'll do one or two, one of these two items, and clean the kitchen every night before bed. So those are the things I want to focus on this week. Let me go ahead and lay these down. I think for my steps, yeah, let's start at the bottom and build up. I have no idea how these are going to fit. I might need to go in and make some adjustments, but um, so starting with the steps, good, perfect. The width is perfect. The cut looks right, so I think we're good there. And then let's do, I want to do my meal plan at the top and then the habit trackers. Yeah, let's do that. So I have lunches here. Go all the way to the top. Oh, I don't think I'm going to have room for my habit trackers. If I do both lunches and dinners. Well, I'll have room for some. Okay, so let's do the walk and bike, because the other three are things I want to work on, but um, I'm going to work on them regardless. <laughs> if I haven't written down or not, I'm still going to work on doing those things. But it will be fun to track whether I'm walking or I'm biking each day. I think I'm going to move this one down a little bit. Well, let's see. How about... Yeah. I think I'm gonna move this down a little bit. I'm just gonna put that off to the side for now. Let's do this. So either walk or bike every day. I'm wondering if that's a little heavy on the black. Like after we get the rest of it filled in, let's see if that's a little heavy on the black. I might go it back in and design it like in a lighter gray color so it'll be more of a neutral thing off to the side instead of so bold. Let's lay down the rest of the stickers and see how it looks. So um, at the top here, I usually do my top three for what I want to accomplish in Etsy each day, but this week I want to write down like my cleaning schedule. My parents are coming to visit on Sunday. They're arriving on Sunday, and I thought this would be a good week um, to do deep spring cleaning of the house. So um, I'm going to have a different like room of the house each day or rooms that I want to focus on through for cleaning for this week. So I'm going to use the top row for that this week. This middle row is for my appointment, so let's go ahead and get those down. On Monday, I have a hair appointment at 10.45. Tuesday, we have a doctor's appointment.
at 245. So I, on Wednesday, I'm having dinner with Beth at 5.30, and I was going to put it in these little boxes, but I think I might do this box instead. So Beth is one of my best friends, and we try to get together at least once a month to have dinner and just catch up on everything. She's a big um, reader like I am, so we often end up talking about books. <laughs> But we're also moms and we work, we both work full time. So we have a lot in common and um, I always enjoy my time with Beth. I always look forward to it and really enjoy that mom grown up time. So Thursday is my crazy day where we have a, I have a call at nine. We have our Zoom meeting at 2.30 and then we have video game club at four o'clock. Friday is fun Friday. And what that is, is every Friday, Logan and I like to do something special. So for example, this I'm filming this on Thursday, Thursday the 13th, and uh, fr fun Friday tomorrow, we're going to the zoo. So excited. <laughs> this Friday, he's going to have a sleepover with friends. Okay, and then Saturday, I need to pick up groceries. And then finally, we will do homeschool five days this week, Monday through Friday. Okay, so let's move on to my YouTube row. I would like to make three videos this week. Um, I've, I feel like I've gotten back on track with my two videos. So first on Mondays is my budget check-in. And then on Fridays is my plan with me. And then I think um, what I'd like to do is I'd like to get back to weekly vlogging where I just share like um, my, my little vlog with you. I was doing the vlog like once a month, but I would like to get back to doing that weekly. We'll see. These two are for sure. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. So I'm just going to put a film and edit sticker under each of those videos. Okay, I'm going to use these full boxes just to fill in the blank spaces at the bottom here. Like the moon needs to some, we don't care about the others. You set my world on fire. You're my heart's desire. I just want to love you, just want to hold Okay, so let's go in and talk about what I want to clean this week. So on Monday, I want to clean, um, so I'm going to spring clean, so deep clean these areas. So I want to clean the laundry room and the main entry to the house. On Tuesday, I'm going to deep clean my office. Wednesday, I want to deep clean the boys' bathroom. So I recently set up a schedule for them to clean their own bathroom, but I want to make sure that I give it one good deep cleaning before my parents arrive on Sunday. Then moving on to the next half of the week. So Thursday, I'm going to clean the guest bathroom. Friday, I'm not going to do any cleaning. Um, with Fun Friday and everything else we have going on Friday, I usually don't have time to do extra stuff on Fridays, but Saturday, I am going to clean the living room and dining room. And then on Sunday, I'm going to clean um, the bedroom and the bathroom where my parents are staying. I'm going to clean that on Sunday before they arrive. I'm also going to wash all the blankets and everything from that room. 
So even though I don't have my Etsy shop uh, to-do list written down here, I still do it. <laughs> this is this planner is the compact vertical, and as you can see, I use this as my mostly as my checklist um, planner that I do all the time. That I use all the time. So I'll still have a place to write my checklist for Etsy. Okay, friends, so that is it for this week's plan with me. Thank you so much for joining me. If you've enjoyed today's video, will you please give it a thumbs up? And I will see you all again next time. Bye, everyone. Say